What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Circuit Breaker, which is in Halo CE, beat the par score on 343 Guilty Spark. So, start up this level, hop off the Pelican, and go to the left. Normally you're supposed to go to the right, but we're going to save a little bit of time by going to the left. It's a little shortcut, makes this pretty easy, or at least the first part. So just run up here, we're going to hop on this rock, and we're going to jump just up into the right of this fern and just slide right up. There's a little uh, depression there where you could actually jump up and onto. And you could get all the way up here and climb up the side and we are already past the first wave of enemies and we're already into the structure. There's all these enemies running out of it and you actually don't have to stay out here and fight them all. Uh, normally that's what you were supposed to do. It was designed for you to do that. Uh, but we're not going to do that. I threw a grenade over there just to get some points started off. And uh, we could hop right onto this elevator that's coming up for us and activate that panel on the other side and we are on our way down. The reason I'm skipping some enemies and killing others is because time is a factor. The quicker you finish this, the more time bonus you get, which is a maximum of three times multiplier. So once you get down here, throw a plasma grenade up on the wall and let it drop down and it will kill most of the enemies in there. And just a couple stragglers I gotta pick off. I do have three skulls on. Kill that jackal. There's a couple more jackals over to the right. Just throw another grenade. Not the best grenade. It kind of bounced back off the jackal shields. But try to get it to land at their feet so it kills most of them. Also, another jackal just jumped off entirely. I want to live, says the jackal. But no, we're going to kill him anyway. But throw a couple grenades over there. There are a handful of jackals and grunts pouring out of the side door over there. We're going to have to go through there in a second. But we're just clearing out the area first. I have on three skulls. The main one I have on, the most important one, is Boom. That allows all explosions to be doubled effectively. They all have twice the radius, so my grenades are much more effective. Uh, any rockets I would theoretically have are more effective. There's no rockets in this level, but in theory. So it's much more effective when I throw these grenades at the group of enemies here. Wow, that was something I've never seen. Killing all the jackals, but leaving three alive with no shields. It usually just kills all of them. But anyway... You can see they were easily dealt with. Uh, once they had no shield, they just ran in fear. But we get to this room, just go to the right. There's a way to skip up and uh, just avoid this room, but it's pretty quick to just run through real quick anyway. Don't kill that Marine you just saw. He is shooting at you right when you get through this doorway, but don't kill him. He's on your team. You'll lose points. It is a semi-scripted moment where he's like, oh my god, I'm so freaked out and scared. Blah. He's obviously seen the flood in retrospect. At this point, we don't know that, though, so keep it under wraps. We don't want to spoil this 14-year-old game. Just roll up in here, activate this bridge, run across it. There are no enemies in this area. And then we're going to head down into the first room where we meet the Flood. Which is a scary, scary cutscene. One of the best cutscenes. I always say it when I make this. I want to guide for this level. One of the best cutscenes of all time in the Halos. The reveal of the Flood. So we're just left in this room alone for a little bit after that cutscene. I skipped it. We've all seen it before. Probably. But just go to the back room that you're facing, or the back door that you're facing, once you come out of the cutscene. And the door will get knocked on and pushed in three times before breaking open. Well, the third time will be it breaking open. So at the second knock, you want to throw a grenade, and it will take care of all of the infection forms, or most of them. So there's visual cues for the three knocks, and also audio cues. You can't really hear the audio in this because it's turned down, so you can hear my lovely voice. But once you take out all three of those... You want to go over here and have at least one frag grenade ready to take out that mass of enemies right there. I threw another grenade. I thought there would be more enemies coming down more quickly, but apparently not. So I'm just going to hightail it out of here. We're running past these guys. Again, we're picking and choosing who we're killing. The time bonus is a three times multiplier if we finish within 15 minutes, which is completely doable. Obviously, this level is kind of confusing, but you want to go to the right. And then you want to go to the right here as well. I got confused. I thought I was further along at this point where you do go down to the left, but we're going to go down to the right. Even I get confused sometimes, or lose my train of thought. I knew my mistake immediately upon turning to the left, but I figured I'd go with it. We come out to this area, we're going to cut straight across this room and jump on some crates to get up to the second level. So right up here, jump here, and then here, and then up here. There's some jackals up here fighting. I wish I had a plasma grenade so I could just throw it right here to get some quick points. Here we go. I do have pinata on, which whenever I melee somebody, it deploys or drops a plasma grenade. It does not deploy it. That would be terrible. Uh, it drops one so I can pick it up. So every time I melee somebody, I could get a plasma grenade. So that is good. I have on Grunt Birthday Party, which has no effect on uh, gameplay. And I have 
boom on, like I mentioned earlier. None of those three skulls affect your score. Uh, there are multiple scoring skulls that make the game harder that you could put on if you're having trouble getting the par score. Um, you could also play this on a lesser difficulty, so I'm playing this on Legendary to get the max amount of points per kill. But if you play on a lower difficulty, obviously you get way less points for every kill you get. But you could throw on some skulls to make up for that if you're more comfortable that way. So you could turn on things like Famine, which uh, there's less ammo in all the guns you pick up. You could put on Fog, so you have no radar. You could turn on Mythic, maybe, which doubles the health of all the enemies, etc. Pick whatever you're comfortable with. But once you get down to this elevator, or the bottom of this elevator, I threw a grenade there because I know people are following me at this point. They spawn down here. But there's an overshield hidden up there. It's not exactly hidden, but it's not exactly obvious that it's there. So definitely grab that. And there's also some camo right here. You could time this uh, blinking bridge. It just cuts out and back on periodically. You could time it so that you do actually cross it if you like jump at the correct times. You could also jump onto the pillars. It's a tough jump though and jump across here and it's kind of a shortcut. I just decided to jump down because I need to start racking up some points. The par score for this level is 17,000 so if I finish within the par time I need about 6,000-ish, a little less than 6,000 points. So uh, the time multiplier multiplies it over that 17,000 threshold. So we're move through. Normally you can make it much further with the camo if you're just doing a speed run, but I'm obviously taking some time to kill people as I go. Again, you really want to thin the enemies out when they're in a big group by using a grenade. Especially when you're up on top, you could throw a grenade down below and allow it to explode and kill most of the enemies down below you. Or just jump it up here. Jump and then come back the way you came, but only on the second level this time. This is a confusing level. I recommend playing it a couple times just to get a feel for it. Obviously, if you get the part time through one of your practice runs, that's great. Sometimes you'll notice that I shoot and kill an enemy, a flood form, and I don't get points for it. I don't know why that is. It's very weird. But with my shotgun, I shoot somebody and then I just don't get points. I'll point it out when it happens. Uh, I'll look for that. But this is the area I thought I was at when I first messed up where I was going. And you drop down to the left here. Oh god, that could be bad. Whoa. It's bad when you stick an enemy that's running at you. I thought I may have stuck him, but I'm not sure. So run across here. You can take out all these enemies if you'd like. The shotgun is obviously the best weapon by far for killing Flood in this game. It is just awesome. I miss the Halo 1 shotgun, even though I'm playing with it right now, so I guess I'm not missing it. I'm just hanging out with it again. 14 years old, and this is still the best shotgun. And pistol. The best pistol is in this game as well. And assault rifle, maybe? I definitely feel this assault rifle is the best one. But enough about that. We're just jumping up here. Once you get to this room, jump up on that kind of block to the right. There's a bunch of dead uh, marines and enemies, and there's a bunch of shotgun ammo, which is great. And there is some health there as well. So I'm just hanging out here. I'm going to run through this door momentarily. I'm just clearing out some enemies that may be around. And also you could smack uh, even in infection forms, the tiny popcorn-like flood. You could smack those and get plasma grenades from the pinata skull as well. So that is awesome. I don't really use that much in this level, but I will in the library, which is the next level. So again, I normally just run straight. You gotta activate the bridge here, and uh, then move your way across and go through the door on the end there. And I normally do that much more quickly, but again, I'm just taking my time and killing people. You can see I didn't get a point for that first guy I killed. There's an example. There were two guys over there I just killed with the pistol. I only got points for one of them. But you want to use grenades to throw across and into that uh, doorway because there's a ton of enemies kind of just hanging out on the other side of this door. So I throw another one precautionarily, which is uh, probably not a word, but uh, in case they're just hanging out there still. Oh god, he's on my head. Is it a spider? Get it off. Jump in this elevator. Well, I guess maybe not. Maybe kill a couple other people. And, you know, just take your time. Not too much time, though. Normally, I'm used to commentating, all right, get on the elevator. Now leave, just get out. But uh, apparently, we're not doing that this time. Now we're doing it after we kill all the enemies. The terminal is right there. You got to kind of jump off the elevator as it goes up, and then you can call it back down when you're done. But we are pretty much at the end of this level. We just have to escape and meet up with Guilty Spark. There's a bunch of shotgun and health here. So we're pretty good to go. We are set on the ammo front. But I normally 
in the past I've gone to the right, but the left is definitely better. Someone pointed it out to me. And that person is correct. I forget who it is. I apologize. But they are right. We'll just move through here. We are almost done. There's going to be a flood form possibly up here, like in this video. Shoot that guy. Fortunately, he has a shotgun, so I can get a little bit of ammo. Not that I need it, really. But if you move through here, sometimes enemies drop down from the sides, and sometimes they don't. On the right side, they definitely do. Sometimes on the left, which is where I am right now, they don't. But just, again, move past them and throw a grenade behind you, so they all chase you and pretty much just run into the grenade and die. Which is exactly what we want. But just keep moving this way, and then we're going to wrap towards the right. You can see that kind of blinking structure. It's kind of hard to see. I'm not really looking at it. It's to my left right now. And all the sentinels will come into play. And uh, pretty much help out immensely. At least as a distraction, if not anything else. So we just need to kill all the stragglers and the level will end. And cue the cutscene. Look at this marine guy. You're not supposed to survive. You're so silly. You're supposed to die with the rest of them. What are you doing? But that's pretty much it. Check out my channel, guys, for Lazo guides, speedrun guides, uh, any guides you really need, collectibles for the audio logs and ODST, the skulls, the terminals, anything you could think of. I got it up. So check me out. Uh, click like and subscribe on this video if you would. Leave a comment, and I'll love you forever, and I will see you later for more achievements, guys.